Hello, and welcome to Royal Telly, where we take an exhilarating plunge into the dynamic world of the Sussexes with curiosity and style. I'm your host, Chloe, and here at Royal Telly, we not only celebrate the Sussexes' achievements, but also stand firm with them against the frequent harsh glare of media scrutiny. Our mission? To illuminate the truth and offer unwavering support to these global influencers through ups and downs. Today, we're unpacking the Sussexes' eventful trip to Nigeria, delving into their core passions, sports rehabilitation, mental health, and women's empowerment, which dominated their incredible three-day visit. Stay tuned! The Sussexes recently embarked on a notable journey to Nigeria, but what was their mission? The heart of their voyage was steeped in a profound dedication to humanitarian efforts, cultural exchange, and bolstering various local initiatives. The couple's itinerary was carefully curated to reflect their commitment to these causes. One of the key aspects of their mission was to engage with youth empowerment programs. They spent time with several organizations that worked tirelessly to provide educational resources, technology access, and leadership training to young people. These engagements were not just formal visits. The Sussexes actively participated in workshops and discussions sharing their insights and encouraging the youth to think globally while acting locally. While in Nigeria, the Sussexes also took the opportunity to promote the Invictus Games. This international adaptive multi-sport event created by Prince Harry himself allows wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel and their associated veterans to participate in various sports. This initiative is a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit and a project close to the Sussexes' hearts. During their visit, the Sussexes met with potential athletes discussing the significance of the games in their rehabilitation. They spent time understanding the unique challenges these athletes face and the transformative power of sport in their recovery. The couple also explored potential partnerships with local sports organizations to support the games. They met with representatives from various groups discussing how these partnerships could provide necessary resources and promote inclusivity in sports. The Sussexes' dedication to the Invictus Games was evident in their interactions, reinforcing their commitment to uplifting communities and empowering individuals. The Invictus Games, a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit, is a project close to the Sussexes' hearts. Let's shift our focus from global headlines to local voices. When the Sussexes landed in Nigeria, it wasn't just the paparazzi flashes that welcomed them, but the warm smiles and open arms of the local people. The visit, which was part of their broader humanitarian efforts, resonated deeply with many Nigerians who saw it as a significant gesture of solidarity and support. Their commitment was clear, but not everyone saw it that way. As the Sussexes made waves with their work, a media storm brewed back home, the couple's humanitarian efforts in Nigeria were overshadowed by a flurry of heated debates and sharp critiques from various quarters. Royal commentators and several media outlets back in the United Kingdom did not hold back, launching a barrage of criticisms that seemed more focused on the Sussexes' personal choices rather than their philanthropic intentions. What exactly sparked this controversy? At the heart of the storm were accusations of the Sussexes stepping out of their traditional roles and engaging in activities perceived by some as politically charged. The narrative spun by certain sections of the media painted a picture of defiance against royal protocols. Critics argued that their actions could potentially strain diplomatic relations, a point hotly contested by supporters who saw these moves as brave and necessary for global humanitarian progress. The contrast in reactions was stark. Internationally, the reception was overwhelmingly positive, with local Nigerian communities and leaders expressing gratitude and admiration for the Sussexes' commitment to addressing pressing issues such as women's rights and education. However, back in Britain, the tone was significantly different. The media's scrutiny was relentless, with every move being analyzed and often criticized. This dichotomy raises questions about the underlying reasons for such intense media scrutiny. Is it merely about royal protocols, or are there deeper biases at play? This intense focus by the British media on the Sussexes' every move is indicative of a larger pattern. It reflects a certain fascination mixed with skepticism about members of the royal family who choose to carve out a new path. 
This scenario isn't just about the actions of two people. It's a reflection of the ongoing tug of war between tradition and modernity within the royal narrative. But beyond the headlines, what was the real impact on the ground? Let's shift our focus from global headlines to local voices. When the Sussexes landed in Nigeria, it wasn't just the paparazzi flashes that welcomed them, but the warm smiles and open arms of the local people. The visit, which was part of their broader humanitarian efforts, resonated deeply with many Nigerians who saw it as a significant gesture of solidarity and support. Local officials and community leaders were quick to express their gratitude. One community leader from Lagos mentioned, their visit brought attention to our efforts in education reform. It was inspiring to see them interact so genuinely with our children and educators. They didn't just visit, they engaged, they listened. In rural areas, the impact was equally profound. A healthcare worker in a small village outside Abuja noted, the focus on our healthcare needs by such high profile figures has already sparked conversations about improvements and increased aid from other parts of the world. These testimonials reflect a common sentiment. The visit was more than ceremonial. It was a catalyst for attention, conversation, and action. These stories paint a different picture from what some critics suggest. With every high-profile visit comes a spectrum of successes and challenges. The Sussexes' recent journey to Nigeria showcased a plethora of triumphs that reverberated across various sectors. One of the most notable successes was the establishment of new partnerships between local youth empowerment initiatives and international donors. These collaborations promised to inject vitality and resources into grassroots projects, fostering sustainable development. Moreover, their engagement with women's rights organizations led to increased global attention to gender equality issues in the region. The spotlight on these crucial matters has galvanized an uptick in funding and international support, aiming to dismantle long-standing barriers faced by women and girls in Nigeria. The Sussexes, aware of the delicate nature of cross-cultural interactions, handled these situations with grace and a willingness to learn and adapt, which was warmly received by the local communities. In essence, the Sussexes' trip to Nigeria was a dynamic blend of impactful achievements and learning opportunities. Their proactive approach in addressing the issues they encountered and their commitment to fostering meaningful change underscored the depth of their dedication to global humanitarian efforts. As we wrap up today's journey, let's ponder the road ahead for the Sussexes. Through their impactful visit to Nigeria, the Sussexes have not only highlighted critical issues, but also fostered deep connections. Their journey stirred discussions, faced scrutiny, yet emerged influential. As they continue to navigate their path, these experiences will undoubtedly shape their future initiatives and strengthen their global influence. Their commitment to advocacy and change remains unwavering, promising more groundbreaking endeavors on the horizon. Thank you for joining us on Royal Telly. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful content on the Sussexes.